my loves and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do a first impression and product review on one of the newest product launch from Bike Beauty. And it is their Upswing Full Volume Mascara. So this one retails for 37 Canadian dollars. It is a clean beauty brand and vegan. So this mascara is supposed to give you a major lift, curl, volume, and length on your lashes, which will result to a supersized lashes. So that is quite promising, especially for myself. So I do have that stubborn Asian lashes. So my lashes, as you guys can see, is almost invisible. I have this thin, very fine and only few lashes. So false eyelashes or strip lashes are my favorite or my best friend. So I am so excited to give this a shot because they have amazing reviews at sephora.ca. So what better way to try it on my lashes? So this will be a very great test because my lashes doesn't hold curls pretty well. So I obviously need to curl it first and then with mascara i don't usually wear them i just jump into false eyelashes if i want to enhance my eyes if i really want to wear mascara it has to be waterproof just to have that stiff formulation that will hold my lashes up otherwise usually mascara especially those that have more dense or heavier formulation will just droop my lashes down and it says it also gives you a buildable weightless volume so if you guys wanted to see how this one would work with my invisible lashes then let's get started so to give this mascara a fair fight i would need to curl my lashes just because my natural lashes grows straight all right both my lashes are curled as much as i can um and then so yeah let's put this mascara on i'm going to put it just on one side just so we can see a side-by-side -side comparison with and without this mascara or okay so it has a pretty big wand i'm usually scared with this kind of wand because they get everywhere in my eyes I have smaller eyes it's kind of messy for me um but this one have like the hourglass style or shape of the wand it is not gunky like other mascaras that i've seen or i've tried before so let's try on this side here okay so that's one layer oh okay i can see that lengthening for sure and it gives you a nice more visible lashes for sure compared with the other side i'll show you guys up close just without and with the mascara first layer so i'm gonna try because it says it is buildable i'm gonna try one more layer and see how it looks like Okay, so that's how it looks like guys second layer i don't think i'm gonna put more than two layers just because with my fine lashes i don't think it will hold it well it will just weigh it down so that's how it looks like without the mascara it did give me pretty good volume i like how it doesn't clump up the lashes um it does separate them so it makes it look like you have more lashes what i notice is kind of coat each lash and make it bigger so it looks like you have like my fine lashes looks not fine right now so i like that part um weightless i don't know i can kind of feel that it's weighing down my lashes though it's not as curled compared to when i first curl it with lash curler so you know what i'm gonna finish the other side and give you my final thoughts okay guys so i finished the other side so both of them has mascaras what i was saying a while ago that when it's that big of a brush i'm pretty scared because it always just gets everywhere in my eyes i prefer like my favorite mascaras are like the benefit roller lash the more like a silicone and smaller bristles of wand just because the, i feel like it works better for fine and thin lashes or most of like asian lashes like mine so that's how it looks like so as you guys can see i have smudged a lot i only did one coat here i don't see a big difference to be honest with one or two coat and what i just noticed is with one coat it holds 
better like the curl rather than doing two coats and I can see that it weighs down my lashes right away. So if I'm going to use this, I would most likely just do one coat and that's good enough for my natural lashes. Now for my final and honest thought about this mascara from Bite. Honestly, I am not impressed. I wasn't wowed by the formulation or the mascara itself. There's nothing that I would say like, yeah, uh, this is my holy grail. I would repurchase this. Probably not. What I like about it, it is clean brand and vegan. So that's a plus for me. If you have sensitive eyes, then this might be a good product for you guys. And if you have naturally good lashes then i would recommend this one but for me the formulation of this mascara just is it's just too heavy for my lashes so i feel like it's just not for me i don't see the big hype about it sorry bite but this is a pass for me so there you have it guys i hope you find this helpful if you're thinking of buying this mascara it's my own opinion and honest thoughts about this based on my lashes if you guys have tried this mascara leave the comments down below let me know how what you think how was your experience with it and if you want to see more of this kind of reviews let me know i hope to see you guys again next week take care and keep safe